All right, I'm gonna make this quick. This is uh, talking about Sig Digger again. Uh, after I did the last video, I realized, or somebody had pointed out, where uh, I had two clients connected, and um, the the frequencies weren't different. There was actually a bug I didn't I didn't catch. I didn't have uh, Sig Digger updated far enough. Um, they were in fact both on the same uh, frequency ranges. It's just the number hadn't uh, updated. But anyway, since I'm gonna take another look at it, I'm gonna push this to the uh, a little a little further this time so what I've done is um, in the user source directory I've talked about it before if you look there's the BSL BLSD script and so if you run that you'll build the latest sig digger from develop so I've, I've just did that here recently uh, but keep in mind if you do do that um, you're gonna have to make sure that you have the same versions on your client server so if you want to update the Pi uh, 64 go to the same directory user uh, user source and you'll just add a disable dash alsa on it uh, which will pass through that setting because uh, i found for whatever reason on the dragon os pi 64 build the audio <clears throat> wasn't uh, quite right so if you pass this through it'll just force uh, when the sig digger gui is uh, up and running and doing the the audio will go through port audio so just keep that in mind but anyways, what uh, we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at running multiple SDRs. So in this case, I have, let's see, the AirSpy HF, the Blade RF, the Lime SDR, the Pluto SDR, the RTL SDR, RSP1 Alpha, and B205 Mini. Uh, and in this case, since I need a, a little more power than a Pi to do this, I have it plugged into a laptop here. So the laptop is going to act as both this uh, server and the client so you'll see what I mean here so we'll start fresh in the home uh, you know in the user home directory however you wanna uh, get there you can uh, oh, oh, let's see oh yeah sorry it was right there you can do it this way you can just go to the home directory whatever uh, you need to do I'm just gonna remove that configuration directory for right now just be careful what you're removing uh, and then we're going to take a look at, if we remember right, we can see the different command list here. And actually, in the latest build, I, I can't remember if this was in the Dragon West uh, Focal, um, the R22 that I just, uh, this was kind of recent. It's uh, analyzer debug mes messages that you can use, but that's, um, if I get to that, I'll, I'll, I'll show what I mean. What I want to do is take a look at making profiles of all those devices so it might take a second sig digger a soapy is going to look at the devices and then it's going to come back and ask us if we want to make profiles and i count one two three four five six seven seven profiles now keep in mind those profiles by default are probably going to have some really low uh, uh, sample rate and bandwidth settings you can see as you go down the list uh, that's something that you want to address, uh, you know, especially like on the Blade RF. Uh, the bandwidth and the sample rate can't be changed after the server is running, at least not right now. So you want to uh, bump those up. Uh, but the, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave them at low uh, settings, especially since I'm going to have multiple connections open. But that's where you would uh, change those settings. So we remember if we run dev serve without it configured we're gonna get that prompt that says hey you know create a file and um, here's a kind of a template to get started with as far as uh, user permission management so I'm gonna go back where it tells me to here and create this new file I'll come up I'll just change the password for right now to something a little shorter and I'll just stick with the root and the anonymous user so now if we start the device server we're gonna see we're gonna be serving multiple SDRs at the same time with one server over multiple different ports and each one of those ports can allow multiple client connections so multiple clients to one SDR or one client to multiple SDRs, whatever you want to do. So I'll show you how that's going to work. And uh, I'll just open up uh, a terminal to start SigDigger. You can go down to the 
little menu here and go under I think it's ham radio and start it but uh, I'll just minimize these uh, start it here and then minimize these terminals so and let's see we'll put this kind of off to the side here to remind me and you can see what's uh, the connections that are occurring so let's get started here analyzer type will change it to remote since it is the same computer I'm gonna leave it on the local host here and let's see we'll start by connecting with the root profile in this case we're going to be on the AirSpy HF so we can see the connection here we can see that we are able to manipulate and control the gain settings and as well as the frequency down to 10 megahertz so now let's check this out so I open another window and just to clarify like I said uh, from the last video this is just uh, uh, simulating or well not simulating it is another client connecting to the server so we'll come down here remote change to 28002 and we'll go with anonymous this time so now we can see we've got another connection and we are on that 10 megahertz uh, a lot of my stuff's uh, you know blanked out because I'm not that administrator uh, don't have all the permissions uh, but I could uh, demodulate audio if I want separate from what this person is doing up here they could be on a completely different frequency within that range there demodulating something else you get the you get the idea here whether it's upper side band lower side band you can adjust as needed okay so let's continue this on so we can see we've got two clients connected to the same SDR I'm going to turn the audio preview off for right now so that's two on the air spy HF I mean you could I could do another one if I wanted. I might as well show that. I'll just show three as much as your hardware and bandwidth uh, obviously can support. So we'll take it up one more. We'll do 28002. So we'll have three clients on that one SDR, each able to do something differently. So that's three. Let's see. All right. Now let's go to a different SDR on the same server. We'll do the Blade RF. Remote 28003. We'll do root. Oops, do root and dragon. Uh, I, you know what? I should have pointed out too. This accept multicast traffic and LAN connections. My understanding. I don't know. I haven't really tried that, but apparently you can do multicast over a LAN and have one server. And it, yeah, that's uh, something else I need to look into. But let's uh, keep on track here so we've got another connection we're waiting for the blade RF to come up alright so now we've got the blade RF we're in a completely different uh, frequency range here we can tune it as needed uh, obviously the sample rate and bandwidth again are, are uh, uh, low but so there is what do we got four clients right now two SDRs I'll uh, we'll just show one more on the uh, so imagine if you had the uh, sample and bandwidth uh, really uh, up high on the blade RF uh, now sometimes you might see these errors because it's opening up and querying those devices which are in use so it's no big deal I'm just looking at it uh, while, while I'm messing with this but 
so 28003, we'll connect another one to the Blade RF. Boom, you see it jumps over here. So now, let's just, let's just connect to all of the SDRs here. Uh, what do we got? Uh, so we got the uh, left remaining line, Pluto SDR, RTL SDR, RSP1 Alpha, and the B205 Mini. So I'll just bump up 28004. We'll see, we're starting up the Lime SDR, okay. There's the Lime. We'll throw it on some other frequency here. So there's the Lime. This is the Pluto next, 28005. Yep, okay. Toss it on something else here. Now again, sample rate, I keep saying that is low. Just keep that in mind. That's something that you would adjust uh, when you set up your server. Let's go again. Now obviously this laptop uh, has some power behind it. Uh, I could have turned on the, uh, under GUI beha behavior, could could have turned on OpenGL based waterfall. Didn't think of that till just now. Let me see what else we got. Okay, we got the RTL SDR. I think this one defaults at like one meg on the bandwidth. Uh, what am I doing? Source. Remote 28006. Oop, let's see, root. Wrong password. Let's see. So we got all these radios running. We could come over here. Okay, so we got the, let's see, we got the RTL SDR, and we'll do RSP1 Alpha and the B205 Mini. Okay, this should be the RSP1 Alpha. There we go. Probably recognize its gain settings down here. It's not hooked to an HF antenna. I think the only one is is the Air Spy right now. And last one. We'll do the uh, B205. Let's see. Now the other thing too is because this computer is the same one that the SDRs are plugged into locally, possibly maybe you could do it uh, direct from the GUI here and, and start the uh, the DSP um, in a different, but, but I'm just going to keep it to what I've been doing remote. And what do we got? 28008 should be the last one can see you know these uh, sample rates uh, it's mentioning that we need to need to adjust that as needed let's see so let's turn the gain up and there we go so that's every one of the SDRs simultaneously on one server and in some cases 
uh, multiple clients connected to the same SDR and so okay well anyways um, we have multiple windows open multiple clients connected so hopefully that's a better demonstration uh, of the uh, the SIG diggers uh, SDR abilities all right thank you